the K-Pro4 Plus 88. Based on the 1984 K-Pro4, the 1985 K-Pro4 Plus 88 was a dual system computer equipped with both an Intel 8088 and a Zilog Z80 and was capable of running both MS-DOS and CPM. Using a SWP microcomputer products daughter board with the Z80 CPU piggybacked on an adapter card, the 4 Plus 88 could switch between operating systems. As a recap on an earlier video, I purchased mine from an e-recycler. The shipping was many times greater than the purchase price. Missing the keyboard connector, an old phone purchased at the thrift store donated the needed part. An inspection and cleaning had the system back in working order. Since this K-Pro has no outward indication of the Plus 88 board, I don't know if it was added later or just missing the graphics, which appear just to be stickers. Without the correct disks, this project was on hold until I happened across a web page that offered disk images for the entire K-Pro line. The program to switch to MS-DOS mode and the entire MS-DOS disk was missing from my earlier set. Using a copy of IMD Disk Imaging Software, I finally had the correct disks to test the SWP CoPower board. As a side note, writing the images using a 48666 with a TAC double-sided double density drive produced disks that worked but not without errors. The K-Pro's drives were constantly resetting the read heads with the familiar grinding sound of a bad disk. Finally, I removed one of the K-Pro's drives, hooked it to the PC, and was able to produce error-free disks. Unfortunately, being MS-DOS compatible is not the same as being IBM compatible. Off-the-shelf software won't run as almost all titles are dependent on the hardware as well as the OS. K-Pro did eventually switch to IBM compatibles, but it was too little too late. A new company called Compact ousted K-Pro from the portable market throne with a similar design that was nearly 100% IBM compatible. K-Pro filed for bankruptcy in 1990 and closed its doors in 1992.